You are dead. You were sadly run over by a naked man on a scooter wearing a fireman helmet. Wow, I've been playing this game for 10 minutes and I already found a way to kill myself. What is going on, everybody? I am Brandon, aka The Frustrated Gamer, and welcome to The Road Trip. This is a game that just came out on Steam earlier today, and I have been really excited to play this game for a while. It's kind of hard to explain what this game's about. It's a game about fat people going on a road trip for some sandwich, but I don't know too much more than that. So we're going to jump right in. I haven't even touched this game yet. You're opening it up with me. Through this game, you will be forced to make difficult choices. Some will make a huge impact on your story. Okay? Like I said, it's a game about fat people. I think everybody, at least from the trailer that I saw, everybody in this game is not only fat, they are morbidly obese, as you can see from these two kind fellows in the picture. Your primary goal is to cross all of Canada until you find a store selling McRibs. Oh, it's Mr. Ribs. Sorry. Which has been your lifelong goal as far as long as you can remember. Alright, so I guess these two fellows want a Mr. Rib really badly. Not a McRib. Not a McRib. It's a Mr. Rib. Alright, on your journey you will encounter a variety of hitchhikers with different stories. Depending on how you respond to them, it could cost you your life. What? Cost you your life over a Mr. Rib sandwich? How you get through this difficult journey is up to you. So we will see. This this looks like an awesome game. It's already been getting pretty good reviews. So I'm pretty fired up about it. I think this is going to be a multi-part series. Nova Scotia, Beaverville, 7.35 p.m., October 17th, 1975. So we're taking, a, we're taking a trip back in time to 1975, before I was born and before probably all of you were born too. A lot of birds in, uh, I guess we're in Canada, eh? Real intense music. I like this. It's getting me fired up. I've been so excited about this game, like I said, and this music is getting me even more excited. Pretty cool graphics so far, too. Wake up! Let's crack that, that alarm clock. Wake up! Oh, there's your... Oh! This guy is fat and bow-legged, man. He's got some bow legs. Rise and shine, boy. Would you not believe what I just saw on TV? Just tell me. A pizza commercial? Let me go to sleep. Um, let's say a pizza commercial. Question mark? Pizza? Pizza? Are you serious? You think I would have stormed in here about pizza? The Mick ri or the, I keep saying Mick Ribs. The Mr. Ribs are out. I ain't joking, boy. Now get up and let's go, boy. Mr. Ribs. I couldn't read that fast. What? I couldn't have read that fast. Chapter 1. The journey begins. Nova Scotia, Beaverville. Now we're 2 p.m. Still 1975. Okay, here we go. Open garage door. Crap, I don't know how to open the garage door. Was that was that something that I had to do? Oh, okay. Oh, all right, I'm in the game. All right, WSAD to move around. Hey, hey, hurry up. I can almost taste those Mr. Ribs. Go open the garage door already and then hop in. How do I open the garage door? E? How do I open a garage door? Oh, there we go. Okay. And then hop in. I have to get in the vehicle with F. Uh, F. Okay. Oh, I'm behind the wheel now. E while in the crosshairs is on. Okay. Turn the vehicle on. Oh, okay. So if I right click, I kind of get closer and I can turn the key. Oh, is it not going to... What? Is this car not going to start? Oh, I'm... Uh, I didn't know that the car was started. Okay, all right, so can I, like, do things? Hey, I can honk the horn. What about the windshield wipers? Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Can I eat a rib? Oh, oh. Ugh. Oh, that's kind of gross. I don't want that anymore. No, no, put that back. Put that back. There we go. Okay, I really got to get my bearings in this game because this seems kind of... <laughs> this seems difficult. I don't know if I should go left or right. Oh, road closed. Damn it. Oh, Oh no, I already got into a car accident. I'm two minutes into this game. Ooh, my buddy's real ugly. No offense to him, but he is ugly. Can I turn those damn windshield wipers off? They don't even do anything. They only cover half of the uh, half of the windshield. Ugh. Okay. Oh, I don't want to get into another car accident. We are off. Our journey begins. Mr. Ribs, here we come. Also, try not to crash into something. Well, I wish you told me that before. The car has really bad brakes. Sure thing. I know what I'm doing. I will say sure thing. We'll be nice here. That's the spirit. We will get there in no time. All right, listen up, buddy. We are going to every Sal's Burgers for those Mr. Ribs, so buckle up. 
People are going crazy over this Mr. Rib, so this journey may take two days. So is this a take on the McRib? I don't know when the McRib came out. Did it come out in like 1975? I'm assuming this is kind of a take on the McRib from McDonald's. You're on the road. All right, this guy's going awful slow. So Can I go around? I'm going to go around him. Oh, this is risky. A car better not come. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, okay. What is that, the radio on in the background? Oh, 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 crap. Damn it, I just ran, I don't even know what that was. What was that, trash cans? I think that was trash cans. What, what am I, what am I running into now? Oh, it's a road closed. Damn it, did I have to go the other way? I'm awful at this game. Oh, he said don't crash the car and I've crashed it about six times. Oh, oh, almost seven, almost seven. All right, so I guess we have to go up this way. All right, we're back on our way, back on our way. It's kind of hard to see over the steering wheel in this game. I wish maybe my guy had a couple, like, yellow books. A couple, I don't know, a couple phone books to sit on because... Oh, uh-oh. All right, I think we were going a little too fast around that corner. All right, I got to get my bearings in this game because so far I have not done well. Also, the vision in this game, real blurry. I wonder if this guy's nearsighted. He might need some, some glasses or some spectacles. Something's happening. Oh, try not to hit other drivers. Most people drive drunk around here, so be careful. What? Uh, you got it. Yeah, sure. All right. I can almost smell those Mr. Ribs. We're almost there, boy. Are we really almost there? What did I just hit? The guardrail? We're going to be passing that creepy old forest trail in a little bit. I don't know what else he said. What did he say? Where most people... What? Investigate the forest. Optional. Um... Yeah, we're doing it. We're investigating the forest. Why not? We might as well explore as much in this game as we can. I've been excited about this game. Man, are you mentally retarded? I just told you not to go in there. All right. Uh, you heard the story, right? A bunch of fat kids were driving scooters down the waterfall. I can't read that fast. Rumor has it that the firefighter still haunts this forest. Oh, I'm just going to let you guys read it if you want. All right. So we're coming up to a car here. I guess, are we going to park? We're going to park and get out of the vehicle. That's what we're going to do here. Hey, I actually don't think, I actually don't think that I, uh, I crashed the car there. How do I get out? All right. Oh, all right. We're walking around here. We're going to go for a walk. All right. This is a little bit easier to control than before. I was going to ask, why is my guy walking so fast or slow? Why is my guy walking so slow? And then I remembered, oh yeah, he's morbidly obese. Okay. So which way do we go now? Which way do we go? Oh, we're going to go off the beaten path. Well, this kind of, the whole thing's kind of the beaten path, but, but this seems more beaten. Are we going to get murdered? I have a feeling we're going to get murdered in this forest because wasn't this the forest that they said there was like a shooter? I don't know. I couldn't read the thing fast enough. I'll have to go back and read what it said. But I think they said there was like some shooter back here that killed somebody. I don't know. I'm worried though. Uh-oh. Oh, somebody's down there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boss fight. The naked fireman. Well, he's not naked, but... Oh, there's the naked fireman. Oh! Oh, God. He's naked. He's definitely naked. What do I do? How do I fight him? Ah! Uh-oh. Maybe I should run away. Maybe I should run away. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I didn't know I could die in this game. You are dead. You were sadly run over by a naked man on a scooter wearing a fireman helmet. Just let that sink in. Okay. Wow. I've been playing this game for 10 minutes and I already found a way to kill myself. I'm starting to think maybe it wasn't a good idea to go on that, that park that they told me not to go in. What? We got to start all the way over? Oh, son of a nutcracker. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, now I'm an expert in this game. I am an absolute expert. Now I know you go right. Let's see if I fall for all the same traps that I did last time. Hopefully not. Hey, so far I haven't crashed the car yet either. We are off. I'm not going to read this whole thing to you again because we already saw all this. The David... Oh, damn it. I haven't crashed the car yet and I finally just did. Anyway, what I was going to say is the name of the radio station is called Beaver FM. They're like, thanks for listening to the Beaver. I don't know. I thought that was kind of funny. Anyway, I think we're coming up to that forest and we are not... We are absolutely not going in there this time because, why you ask? Because we just got killed by a naked fireman on a scooter. 
I didn't think I would ever say that in my life. A naked fireman on a scooter. But there you go. That's what this road trip game has for you. All right, we should be coming up to the... Yeah, all right. So we're going to be passing this creepy forest in a little trail. I can't read that fast, but that's what he's saying. We're not going to go in there. Nope. We already investigated it, and it did not go well. We got murdered by a naked fireman. All right, so we're on a different journey now. On the road again. Oh, crap. Oh, a tree just fell. Oh, stop. Ah, oh, damn it. I couldn't stop in time. That's not fair. They said the brakes on this car are not very good. And be careful. I didn't read it. Damn it. So we got to go off the beaten path again. Oh, if we have another encounter or another interaction with that naked fireman, I'm not going to be a happy camper. All right, I'm going to try to go slow and crash this car as little as possible. I know I'm going to crash it, but as little as possible. Hey, I actually didn't. Okay. Well, I don't know where we're going now, but this seems to be a detour. Uh oh, he just said, be careful, boy. If we fall, we're dead, which makes me think we're coming up to a cliff. But I can't see, so I'm going to keep pushing along. I don't want to die again. Ah! Oh, crap. Oh, there's the cliff. Okay. All right, I just saw it. How the hell is this a safe detour? Well, it's not a safe detour. How is this a detour, period? I mean, what the hell? Oh, man, now I'm like, I'm diagonal. I'm hanging off the side of a cliff. I almost went off the cliff. And then I think I would have had to start over again. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, no, no. Oh, I died again. You are dead due to a horrible driving skills. You crashed off a cliff and got yourself, along with your uncle, blown up. Killed. Try not to... Ah, oh, Damn it. So I guess it's my uncle. I guess we found out that part of the story. Well, we're back in the garage again. This game's really tough. Every time you die, you have to start back over from the beginning. It sucks. This Mr. Rib better be worth it for these two fat slobs. Because this thing has killed me twice already. That half-eaten food on my dashboard is really starting to make me nauseous. I'm telling you right now. Oh, it's kind of gross. All right, so that tree should be falling soon. Ew, what's that sound? Oh, I think my, my uncle was just just gouging his face with a burger. Oh, that was gross. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're going to turn. Hey, I didn't crash the car that time. That was impressive. All right, now I'm going to do my best to not go off the side of this cliff. This doesn't seem like the type of car... Oh, I am crashing the hell out of this car. This doesn't seem like the type of car that should be driving off-road, but, you know, I won't complain. All right, now we're going to do our best. Oh, okay. We're going to do our best to not go off the side of the cliff like I did last time. I don't really know what I did wrong last time. I kind of just got caught up on the side, but that's okay. All right, we're off to a better start this time. I'm off to a little bit of a better start. All right, and there's a guardrail. All right, why is there not a guardrail through the whole thing? It seems like something that should have a guardrail. What the hell? Oh my god, now we're going downhill? It's like the side of a mountain! Oh my god! Man, when they said the brakes in this car are bad, they were not kidding. Holy crap. Oh, now I don't know where to go. You did it, boy! We're still alive! Ha! Huh? Buckle up, boy, because there's going to be... I don't know what there's going to be! That's one complaint about this game. Maybe I'm just the slowest reader in the world, I don't know. But I really think they need to make the text in this game a little bit slower. It's my only complaint so far, because other than that, the game's awesome. Oh, okay. He said that the burger place is on the left, and I just drove right through it. Okay. Oh, now I'm stuck. Okay, okay. That's a little bit better. Hey, wait. Are we there already? All right. I thought this was basically going to be a journey to get the McRib, or the Mr. Rib, and basically the end of the game would be us getting the rib. Maybe not. I guess there's more to this game, unless it's the shortest game ever. All right. Yeah, that's... All right. <laughs> Let me try to get into a better spot. I love how he uses his turn signal every time I turn. It's kind of funny. All right. That's parked good enough. Let's turn this bad boy off, and let's get out of the car. Last time I got out of the car, it was nothing but bad news. Why isn't my uncle getting out of the car? Come on, uncle. Get out of the car. <laughs> Our license plate's literally Mr. Rib. Wow, these two guys were really excited about this Mr. Rib. Come on, uncle. Get out of the car. What is he doing? I don't even know what he was doing. All right, well, we're going to get the Mr. Rib ourselves then because, I don't know, uncle's been so excited. Wow, this dude's giant too. Everybody's really fat in this game, but their legs are kind of gross looking. I don't know. All right. Oh, there's a cop. Hello. He looks like he's trying to hand me the burger. I'll take one. One Mr. Rib, please. 
All right. Hey, I found our first non-fat person. It's the girl behind the register, or is that a guy? I don't know. I can't really tell. But it's the girl or guy behind the register of the Mr. Rib place. Welcome to Sal's Burgers. My name is Pearl. How may I help you today, sir? Uh, I would like a Mr. Rib, please. I want a Mr. Rib now. Make it snappy or goodbye. Well, I'm going to be polite. I'm going to be nice this time. Maybe I'll replay it again and be mean. I am sorry, sir, but we're all sold out. This whole town is... Sadly, you should look elsewhere. No! Oh, I knew it was too easy. Chapter 2. All right, well, we're going to wrap up the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to make a part 2. The name of the game was The Road Trip. It's on Steam. It's about 4 bucks. It just came out the other day. Um, if you did like the video, smash that like button down low. If you're not part of the Frustrated Gamer community or the TFG squad... Hit that subscribe button for more awesome content. I release a new video every single day around noon or 2 p.m. Eastern time. But I was so excited about this video that I just released it now. Um, so uh, anyway, my name is Brandon, a.k.a. The Frustrated Gamer. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the road trip. And you will be seeing more. I will make a part two. And yeah, that's about all the time I have for you guys. I will see all of you guys in the next video.